In this lesson, we're going to use the wizards inside of Oracle Application Express to generate a fully functional web application. We're going to take the default values in all of the wizards. This isn't going to lead to a production quality application. We're still going to have to go and tweak it a little bit before it's ready for production. The main purpose of this lesson is to show you how easy it is to create a fully functional web application just by answering a couple of questions in the wizards. One of the really exciting things about Oracle Apex is that it generates all of the plumbing code underneath the covers for you automatically. What do I mean when I say plumbing code? Anybody who's developed web-based applications that interact with a relational database like Oracle knows that there's a lot of code that goes on behind the scenes to maintain transactional consistency in a stateless environment. The web, by its very nature, is a stateless environment. But that doesn't play well with transactional systems like an Oracle database. You have to maintain state somehow inside of your application to make sure that the information that gets written to your Oracle database is consistent in the way you want it. Oracle Apex handles all of that plumbing code for you automatically. When we ran through the demos earlier, we were on the page where we can select what type of Apex application that we want to create. We said we're going to spend most of our time using database-based applications, as this gives us access to the full amount of Apex features. So I select database on this page. And when I do that, you'll notice the steps within the wizard change. I'm now on the second step of the create application wizard. I have to give the application a name and a number. Most of the time, letting Oracle Application Express generate the number for you is fine. In some very rare circumstances, you may have to maintain a certain number from an application that's in test or dev or user acceptance testing before you move it over into production. Those cases are pretty rare. And most of the time, letting Apex generate a random application number for you is fine. We obviously want to change the name of the application. Poll01 isn't very memorable. So let's change it to something meaningful like movie maintenance. You can see the only schema I have the opportunity to select from is movies. If you remember from the previous lesson, when we created the workspace, we said we are going to assign the movies schema to that workspace. As Oracle goes through and generates PL SQL code for us, this is where the PL SQL code will be stored inside the movie schema inside of our database. We have the option of creating an application from scratch, starting with a home page or using a previously created application model. We don't have any application models up to this point since this is a brand new workspace and this is our first application inside of the workspace. So I'm going to say include a home page for this particular example. We have two basic choices as it comes to the user interface for this application. The desktop is exactly what it sounds like. This is a traditional Apex application that's accessed by an end user through a browser on their desktop. We also have the ability of creating a jQuery mobile smartphone user interface. The jQuery mobile smartphone user interface has things on it that are specific to mobile phones and tablets, like swipes and long presses. It's very common to have applications that use both types of user interfaces. The landing page for your application may have a little bit of code in it that tests to see what type of browser is accessing the information. If the browser is a mobile browser, the user gets automatically redirected to a mobile version of the web page. If they're accessing it through a traditional browser, they get redirected to the desktop version of the web page. As part of the wizard, though, you have to specify one or the other. So I'm going to specify desktop for this particular application. I can take default values for everything else here just by clicking the Create Application button. This will skip over all of the other pages in the wizard along the top of the page here. For this example, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go through each one of the pages. When I click Next, I'm taken to the Pages wizard where I can specify what pages make up my application. Because I specified a home page, you can see that I already have one home page that's associated with this application. I can also go through and specify other pages that I want to associate with this application. What these selections are, are simply pages with a single region on them, and the region is defined as a report region, a form region, a tabular form region. Some of them create multiple pages, like a report and a form. 
a master detail, I have the ability to go in and create way more than what's presented here. This is just a sampling of the most common features that developers use when they create applications. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to create a report and a form. I specify which table the report and the form is going to be based on and what type of implementation for my report, an interactive report or a classic report. If all of these features don't make sense to you now, don't worry. We're going to get to them as we talk about reports and forms and the different features that are out there. So I can say that I want to create a report and a form based on the movie table as part of my create application process. When I click on add page, you can see that I get the two more pages that are added for me from scratch. One is a report that's based on the movie table. One is a form that's based on the movie table. You're not locked into these choices that you make here. You can go back later on, delete any one of these particular pages. You can modify the regions that are on these pages. You can completely change all of them around. This is just a way of helping you get started to creating your applications. Please also remember that the list that you see here is not the only things that you can select as part of your Oracle Application Express page. There are way more features than what are here. This is just a quick down and dirty way of helping you get started creating your application.